Welcome back to another video. This is the RV T's, the RV T's Quitty. Today we're going to show you how to replace mirror arm marking light. A lot of uh, coaches have this style light. This one particularly right now, believe it or not, on a 2022 Fleetwood Frontier 36SS, it's actually an incandescent bulb. I'm going to replace it. And one of the reasons we are going to replace it is you look very carefully right here, there's moisture inside this housing. It's manufactured by Grote Manufacturing. I actually called the company and they told me I had one of two choices. I had to do it with, I had to, I had to replace it with the original bulb. Actually, it's three choices. I had to replace it with a two LED unit or in this particular case, this is a G1503, which is a three LED unit. Now, Walmart actually sells one that's just like it with an LED, but it only has one LED. Now, taking this light and replacing it is really simple. But I'll show you this, what it looks like here in the package, what you get. Now, right now, this particular one has a little bit of tape over the terminals. That's just to protect the terminals. And this is the light here. Now, basically, it's a regular flat bladed screwdriver. I'm going to insert it in there and pop it, and it comes right out here. Okay, so while it's out here, I'm going to remove the terminals. Now, this might have a little bit of corrosion. There you go. There's the terminals. And I'm going to set that down over here. And I'm going to take this and we're going to put this in there. Real simple. We'll have a link for these in the description below. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> but it's not. Let's see. Uh, maybe it's not sitting right. Okay, let's try. It's supposed to be the right. Comparing the two together. Uh, it looks exactly the same. But for whatever reason. Oh, there you go. It's not exactly how it's supposed to fit. But, um... This is supposed to be the exact part, but as you see, there's a little bit of a problem here. It's supposed to be, supposed to be fitting in the right place, but I might have to try a little sealing on it. Anyway, what we're gonna do now is we're going to compare the brightness of the two. As you see, this is what the floor light is here. And here is the afterlife. Now, for whatever reason, this light didn't fit right. Now, this one I've already installed over here. And this is fitting no problem. It's locked in. But I'm going to do basically on both sides is I'm going to add a little bit of silicone on the leading edge to keep it in place. So that way we hopefully won't have a problem in the future this guy is a little dabble of silicone there on that side a little dabble of silicone in place here and that will in essence lock that in place so it should held in place whatever but it wasn't so that silicone there will keep it from falling out and the same thing on this side i'm going to do I'm going to put this a little bead of silicone on this little part here. And this in no way will affect the functionality, but will ensure that these lights won't come out of me when we're driving. All right, so that's what them see you up there, and there you have it. So these are said, these are the LED replacements for the growth lamps that come with the coach. So by morning these will be all situated and held in place. And we have ourselves a replacement. Open the doors to adventure and start all your journeys with the RVTs.